Once upon a time, there was a little girl who lived in a big city. The girl was rather shy and didn't find life all that easy. She didn't really like city life either. But she loved nothing more than horses. One day, she plucked up all her courage and asked her dad would he let her learn to ride. In the grand scheme of things, this didn't seem a major event for mum and dad or anyone else around that little girl. But when she climbed up on Funny the Pony for the first time, her life was set on a new course that would bring her so much goodness for years and years and years to come that when she was grown up, she started sharing all this goodness with others too. Thank you, Mum and Dad. Luckily, my story is not unique. There are many special parents out there who send their children to me so that they can ride my horses. I feel very privileged that I can help make some big dreams come true. But then, there are many parents out there and maybe you're one of them who wonder, aren't horses dangerous? Isn't riding such a fancy expensive activity? And won't it all end up in more and more costs? Riding boots, gloves, helmets, shows and eventually your child's forever yearn for their own horse? Isn't it just something some children, especially girls, go through and then one day they grow out of it and it all seems an awful waste of money? You are not wrong to think down those lines. They are reasonable questions. But in my experience, and many scientific studies back me up on this, the huge benefits of allowing your child to live their passion for horses are far bigger than any downsides. There are simple reasons why some children have such a love for horses and why this love often carries on into adulthood. Horses are strong, graceful creatures that inspire us to feel free and invincible and go somewhere adventurous. When we partner up with them, they can make us feel bigger, stronger, more loved, needed, more confident, more sure of ourselves. They can put purpose and meaning and direction into our lives. Horses are big creatures, yet they can be so gentle and in need of reassurance and leadership. They want and need us to be strong. And for us, it can be such a great sense of empowerment to take charge of an animal that is more than 10 times heavier and stronger. Horses do not judge whoever approaches them. They are trusting and innocent when they meet us, always assuming the best of us. Children who might feel left out or are judged because of a disability experience unconditional acceptance of who they are when they meet horses, maybe for the first time outside their homes. Should we do more? Yeah? More? Horses actually like it when we humans team up with them. They are sociable, curious creatures and quite happy to go along with us. Horses can become loyal companions who willingly lend their fluffy manes to dry their two-legged friends' tears of joy or despair, no questions asked. That's it. Come on, Come on Henry. Nice. <laughs> Horses can offer us the close physical contact so many of us miss out on these days. Good to the what? Horses do not talk in words. They can help develop our non-verbal communication skills and body awareness. And everything to do with horses. The enjoyable things, as well as the hard physical work and dirt and being out in the rain and cold, teaches us about responsibility, care and empathy for another living creature. Put 
putting our needs on hold whilst we look after our horse. Unlike a Harley or football or bicycle, the horse needs and deserves to be cared for even after the fun part is over. They teach us about timekeeping and being reliable. They are not able to give out to us with words, but their look when we are late to dish up their dinner says it all. And who wants to let a friend down like this? Yes, it does happen occasionally that we tumble off our horse and land in the mud. We can't help but feel humble because we learn quickly that it usually is not the horse's fault when we fall off. We learn to acknowledge our mistakes and weaknesses and we learn to control our emotions. We learn to forgive. We learn to build stamina, patience well and perseverance and learn to deal with frustration. It takes a long time to learn to ride well and along the way we learn to think independently and solve problems on our own and proactively. But the horse helps us to stay motivated and keep going even when progress is slow. This is a really good seat over here. Horses get us out of the house whilst others are spending their time bored or getting into all sorts of trouble. We are kept busy carrying hay and pushing wheelbarrows and meeting like-minded friends and tutors who support us independently from our parents. It is not cheap to look after horses, but even if they are not our own and the money doesn't come out of our own pocket, it comes out of someone else's and we learn a thing or two about budgeting and being responsible with other people's things. And the great thing is, all of this is on offer when you let your child hang out with horses. It doesn't have to be learning to ride for competitions or shows. Henry, I would strongly argue that caring for and spending quality time with horses is the more important part of it all. And remember, to horses we are all the same. No matter what your child's ability level is, whether your child has a disability like autism or Down syndrome or cerebral palsy, whether your child is shy or a chatterbox, anxious or beaming with confidence. I sometimes support children who remind me of my own struggles when growing up. Looking back, I think I came across as a rather awkward and very shy child. I have memories of feeling kind of lost amongst people and not really knowing how to negotiate my way around with others. But with horses I felt completely at ease. It just seemed so easy to communicate with them and more rewarding. Over the years they taught me a lot of things people never could. And this, I would in some ways say life-changing early experience with horses, inspired me so much that I can now call myself lucky to be able to support others. And the best thing about it all is that it still works for them too. Over all these years of working with horses and children on our little farm here, I have learned that the key is to make time and space for the horses to work their wonders. Some riding stables can be very busy and rushed. This works for some children who simply want to focus on riding as a sport, that's fine. But we encourage a meaningful relationship between the child and horse because that's where the real benefits are. Because when the child and horse get a chance to build their own bond, so much good stuff happens between them and everything seems possible. So think twice before you give in to your doubts and give your child a chance to grow and flourish with horses. I guarantee you the horses won't let you down and repay thousandfold. Daisy is the best pony in the world. If you're a parent wondering how to make a difference for your child and want to find out more about what we do, please get in touch with us. 
or perhaps you like what we do and would consider supporting us, please go to our website to find out how. Thank you.